What's good, fellas? I was just sitting here reflecting and two things I've been doing in this last week has been number one, cutting out all social media. The only time I've been on social media has been to either post or to check my DMs. And I think I'm gonna do this for one more week and just cut it out all completely, including DMs. The only thing I'm gonna be doing is recording and posting videos. And I'm working on something behind the scenes, which is a course for my coaching program. But I pretty much had a bunch of realizations in this last week, being able to cut out shit and reflect a lot more. You know, I was just I was just reflecting on my life and looking at how far I've come in these last two years. And you know, just just I'm at this point in life where I've just been working so hard. I've just been working so hard, especially this last year, just working so hard on the business, working so hard on the brand, working so hard to get my money up. And I haven't really had the chance to reflect at all. And I've come to the point to realize I've been way too caught up in money. That's one thing I've realized. I've been way too caught up in making money. And I've kind of come to the conclusion that I don't really give a shit about money. I'll take it if it comes, but I don't really give a shit about money. I don't really give a shit about material possessions because some of the happiest times I've ever been have been in this last year being the most broke I've ever been. Being the most isolated I've ever been. Not having a lot of material belongings. Having to question buying things. Having to question to buy things at the grocery store. Can I buy this food? Is it fiscally responsible for me to buy this? And I'm not talking about me buying steak and lobster. I'm talking about can I buy this bag of chicken can I buy this type of rice or do I have to go for the dollar five pound bag can I get a haircut that type of shit just the basics having to question that wearing Hanes wife beaters back to back every day to the gym for over a year Not really having a lot of a lot of friends, not really having a lot of other people to interact with. Yeah, this year is one of the when I look back on it, there were a lot of hard times, but it's also some of the happiest I've ever been just because of the personal growth. I could literally see the growth. And when I look back at myself two years ago, when I when I moved into my first apartment in Chicago, I was a completely different person. You know, my life was not that much different than it is now. I'm in a new city, but life was not that much different. The main difference was just me spiritually, mentally, physically. Because two years ago, I was a completely broken person. Two years ago, my mind was playing tricks on me. And I didn't know where I was going at all with life. I would have never had the courage to say some shit like this. I would have never had the courage to express any sort of feeling. I would have never had the courage to come on social media and be able to 
say stuff like this and really just talk about my life as raw as it possibly gets. I've really just been, in these last couple of days, I've really just been, I've been 80, 20 in everything in my life. Do I really need this? Do I really need that? And I've come to the conclusion that I don't really need a lot of shit. I don't really need a lot of people. I don't really need a lot of money. I don't really need a lot of material possessions. All I really need is all I have right now. And that's been, as much as I could say that, that's kind of been a tough pill for me to swallow. Because in this last year, I've been so focused on self-improvement. I've been so focused on work, just putting in work in all aspects, putting in work towards the job, you know, making money, putting in work towards my physique, putting in so much work to change myself mentally. And now I'm at the time where I could, I'm cutting all the YouTube out and I've had all this time where, you know, I'm like, I don't really need to be doing work. I don't need to be always putting in work on my business. I don't need to be always working. And I found myself with a lot of time where I have nothing to do. And I've literally just been sitting here, staring at the wall, taking naps, meditating, taking walks. And I've, 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 I've kind of come to realize like, why am I working so hard? And I think the reason I'm working so hard is because the person who I was one, two years ago required a lot of work. The person who I was one, two years ago Required a lot of work mentally, physically, financially. And I'm still broke, but I've kind of come to the, the realization that like, the goal is not to be working all the time. The reason I came into fitness coaching is so I could not be working all the time, so that I could be doing things that I find fulfilling and so that I don't always have to work. But I've had this mentality, you know, partly due to the, the rough situations I've been in, partly due to my upbringing, blue collared, thinking and being told that you have to work your ass off and that, you know, hard work just gets you anything. And it's kind of backwards because hard work can actually drive you backwards. It's about working smart, smarter, not harder. It's not about doing more, it's about doing less, doing the least amount of shit possible, having the least amount of distractions possible, only having the people in your life that really matter. And it's also been tough because for me, that's, that's meant cutting almost every single buddy off. I've had to cut everybody off. To be completely honest, that's part of the reason I moved to a new city. And it's, it's not been easy, especially when it's family members and people you love, but you recognize that their presence is not for the best of you. So you have to adapt, you have to do something new as a man. 
as a man, you got to be autonomous and make your own decisions and face the consequences that come with it. I've made my own decisions. I've made the decision to quit the job. I've made the decision to leave the hometown, cut everybody off. And it's been tough, especially when it's people you love, people who you don't want to cut off, but you know you have to. And I've been, I think another part of that, another part of the reason I've been working so hard is just to kind of fill that void of not having other people or not having other things, other sources of happiness. For me, a large part of my pride, a large part of my happiness has just been working hard. That's the one thing I can hang my hat on is, is, is coming from out of that fucked up situation is completely reinventing myself For me, my hard times were what inspired me. But at a certain point, you need to let go of them to an extent. And it's been a tough, a tough pill for me to swallow, to realize that this whole time I've been kind of chasing money and money is not where the happiness is. And I've been telling myself, oh, you just got to keep putting in work. And for a certain period of time, maybe that was the case. And that mentality was what got me out of that situation. But now it's become, it's coming to the point where it's almost becoming harmful to myself. And I got to take a step. I've had to take a step back and realize that. And with that comes the fear of the realizations of where do I go next? Because it's like the whole time I've been filling this void with work, work on my physique, work on my nutrition, sleep, get eight hours of sleep, no questions, work on the business, work on making money, work on improving myself mentally, just doing everything throwing the whole fucking kitchen sink. And now it's like, work is not just the point of life. And I've been filling all this time with shit that just makes me feel productive, but it's not really doing shit for me. And with that comes the fear of what do I do next? Part of it is patience, I know that. I've come to the realization that I really can't rush this business or I really can't rush this YouTube. I've been, you know, at one point I was putting up four YouTube videos a day. I look back a couple of months ago, I was putting up four YouTube videos a day and four reels a day. And I'm like, at this point, I'm like, one a day is enough because anything more than that is just forced. And it's, it's, it doesn't come across the same way when it's being forced. I believe my YouTube is like a reflection of myself in a way I'm kind of just loading my consciousness up onto the fucking internet. And people are going to be able to recognize the, the tendencies and thought patterns going on in my brain. And if I haven't mastered myself and perfected myself, how can I expect to be a leader and grow a following? So I need to take the time to assess myself and be honest with myself. And that's really one thing that when I look at the common denominator, yes, hard work. But now I'm at the point where hard work isn't as much of the answer. It's more so just being honest with myself. 
being honest with my my shortcomings, being honest with what my insecurities are, being honest with where I've gone wrong and what I need to do in the future, being honest with where I'm putting my my efforts, am I putting it towards shit that just makes me feel productive or am I putting it towards the things that I've been avoiding, putting it toward the things that I really need. When I look at the common denominator of what's allowed me to continually grow as a person, it's just being honest with myself. being honest about where I'm coming short and what I need to be doing. And I've come to all these realizations and it's like, what do I do next? Because I, I, at this point, it's like, I can't rush it anymore. I need to take a step back. I'm broke. I gotta make some money. I've come to the point where I'm, I'm letting motherfuckers onto the coaching program and I'm not charging them just because I need social proof. I need people that, you know, prove that I could actually get the job done. And I'm like, man, I, I got to take a step back. I can't outwork this. I can't outwork this. And that's something that's been really tough for me to swallow because it's like this whole time, that's the mentality that's got me until this point. It's just working. It's just work. Push through the fucking pain. Push through the fucking pain. That mentality allowed me to climb out of one of the, the, the lowest, the lowest of lows. but it's not going to keep me on the same trajectory. It's not going to get me to that next level. What is gonna get me to that next level is being honest with myself <laughs> and just constantly reinventing myself. Constantly challenging my previous beliefs Constantly pushing myself out of my comfort zone. Detaching myself from money. Being okay with being broke. Being okay with staying broke. Being okay with not having a lot of material possessions, even though that's what I've been working so hard for. Being okay dressing like a sheep. Being okay with having to be a lion disguised as a lamb. I just got a haircut today. I hadn't got a haircut for like five, six weeks. I went in there, the guy was like, when's the last time you had a haircut? A couple months? I'm like, yeah, bro. because I, I haven't been able to afford it. And I don't come on here complaining, I just come on here because it's a tough pill to swallow when you wanna have things and you, and you can't have it, but you also know those things, having those things is not what's gonna bring you happiness and you need to be able to go without those things. But at the same time, you see everybody else having those things and it kind of puts you in your place, but you have to learn to accept that you have more to you than that. And in order for you to get to that next level, you have to be okay with not having it. You know, to get to that next level in life, fellas, you just gotta be okay with not having shit and you gotta be okay with who you are now rather than always looking to get to the next level. You have to learn to accept who you are right now 
And that's kind of an, an ego shattering pill to swallow. And it kind of leaves you thinking like, what more is to life? Because this whole time I've been working so hard, you know, self-improvement. And it's like the point of life has just been to improve. But now I'm at the point where it's like, I don't, this is like an, end, an, an endless tunnel. If I never learn to just be happy with where I'm at, that I'm never gonna achieve that end goal. And in order to elevate, I have to be okay with where I'm at right now, even though where I'm at right now might be less than a lot of other people. So that's just something I've, I've, I've been coming to terms with. That's just something that's been challenging my beliefs and making me think long and hard about what I'm doing and where I'm going and slowing things down because that's something I really haven't had the chance to do. And I'm just, you know, looking back, I've changed my life so much in these last two years in ways that I can't even describe on camera. You know, I really just, it's all, it's all been a mental journey. It doesn't have nothing to do with the physique. It doesn't have nothing to do with the finances. It's been all mental, everything. Everything is all mental. This whole fucking game of life is all mental. It's not what, it's who that you're looking for. It's who that you're looking for because until you become that person, you will never achieve the things that that version of yourself has. And when I look back at myself, you know, I, I used to be an altered version of myself and it's, it's kind of hard to realize that used to be me. It's kind of it's hard for me to even remember shit from two years ago and the emotions I went through. I remember it was hard, but I blocked so much of it out of my memory. I blocked so much of the, the minor details out of it out of my memory. And just thinking about it these last couple of days, now that I've been avoiding all this stimulation, it's, it's forced me to like tap into that shit. I think that's good because that's what's gonna allow me to get to the next level. Or I guess, I mean, I don't even fucking know. But that's just what I'm going through right now. Um, I've kind of come on here realizing that not every video needs to be a message. And I've kind of come on here just realizing I need to be more real with the audience and not try and uh, get a message across because at the end of the day, people are gonna get whatever message they want from these videos. So I figured, fuck it, I might as well just be me and stop shoving self-improvement and stop shoving hard work and shit down your guys' throats and instead just talk about what's going on and hopefully, you know, this benefits somebody. So that's it.